Hey, what's up, fam? Welcome back to the channel. How are y'all doing today? So if you are new to the channel, welcome in. I see all the new subscriber and family members that I now call you my cousins and all the returning subscribers. Thank you for coming back over here. We're going to give you a little bit of news you can use, a little bit of motivation, some homesteading, gardening, etc. You're going to get it all here. So make sure you don't miss out by subscribing, turning on your notifications and definitely hit that like button because it all helps the channel grow and get out to more people. So if you shop at this particular location, well, if you shop at this particular store, <laughs> they're getting us, y'all. They're getting us coming and they're getting us going. And I'm not just talking about the high prices out there. They're doing some illegal stuff out there that they are not notifying people about. And now they are facing a major lawsuit. Major lawsuit. Um, because what they're doing... Let's just get into it, okay? Let's just get into it. I'm going to share right now what this store is doing. <clears throat> so if you shop at Target, Target is doing some underhanded stuff, y'all. Target faces disturbing lawsuit for allegedly putting shoppers at risk. Yes, they are allegedly putting shoppers at risk. And I'm looking for my allegedly banner because your girl don't need it. She don't need it. She don't need no, no foolishness from the Target, okay? Target surveillance system has landed the company in some hot water and it's in the form of a class action lawsuit amid Target's battle against growing theft in its store. The retailer is being accused of collecting biometric data from its customers through its video surveillance systems without their consent. Biometric data is personal information that can be used to identify a person's physical and behavioral characteristics. This can include your fingerprints, your facial, and your voice recognition. Target stores in Illinois are outfitted with cameras and advanced video surveillance systems that, unbeknownst to customers, uh, collect, possess, or otherwise obtain biometric data. Reads the lawsuit Target does not notify customers of the fact prior to the store entry, nor does it obtain consent prior to collecting its customers' biometric data. Because, you know, they could post a sign up. They could do some a lot of things, but they don't do it. The lawsuit, which was filed on March 11th by a woman in Illinois, also alleges that Target does not inform customers what it intends to do with the biometric data it collects. Because, you know, it can be used in criminal cases. Target does not have written publicly. Target does not have written publicly available policies identifying their retention schedules or guidelines for permanently destroying any of these biometric identifiers or biometric information. Reads the lawsuit. It also highlights that the collection of biometric data can pose a threat to security due to the possibility of it being compromised, which can put individuals at risk of identity theft. Because if you think about all of the cyber attacks that have been happening, and Target has been one of them that has been targeted as far as cyber attacks are concerned, and their data has been breached. So therefore, all of your information is breached. For example, social security numbers when compromised can be changed, reads the lawsuit. Biometrics, however, are biologically unique to the individual. Therefore, once compromised, the individual has no recourse. It is heightened, is at heightened risk for identity theft and is likely to withdraw from biometric facilitated transactions. Y'all remember I did a story talking about how Target and Walmart were um, overcharging as well as Dollar General and some other stores. So make sure you're still checking your receipts. Um, I know that doesn't have anything to do with this, but it's just a reminder to check your receipts because they're pricing things on the floor. When you ring up and you're not paying attention, you are paying more at the door. 
paying more at the door. And now you're paying more with your facial recognition, et cetera, at the door and throughout the store, rather. The plaintiff in the lawsuit alleges that Target has violated Illinois Biometric Information Privacy Act, and each violation of the law can result in a plaintiff receiving damages that range from $1,000 for negligent violation to $5,000 for intentional or reckless violations as well as attorney fees, costs, and injunctive relief. Target did not immediately respond to um, the street's request for comment. The lawsuit comes amid Target's ramped up efforts to curb retail theft in its stores across the nation, just like many other stores are out here doing. Other stores have the same technology in their stores. Now, whether they have alerted us to it or not, I'm not sure. The retailer has reportedly recently been piloting the use of new technology in its self-checkout lanes called True Scan, which uses cameras to monitor shoppers who repeatedly fail to scan their items even after being prompted. Last year, Target announced in September that it was closing nine of its stores across the U.S. I told you about that in four different states due to retail theft. Target also vowed in the announcement that it will coordinate with lawmakers and industry partners as well as invest in technology to help tackle shoplifting in their stores. Most of Target stores, just like some other retailers, have, you know, started locking items away. I heard over the announcement the other day when I was in Walmart, um, could someone please assist a customer to get toothpaste from out of the locked door? Toothpaste, we have come to that in this society. This is not the first time a major retailer has faced a lawsuit over a surveillance system. In January, Sunglass Hut, which is owned by... As a lore faced a lawsuit over misidentifying a man by using a facial recognition system as one of the people who robbed the Texas Sunglass Hut store location. The company was accused in the lawsuit of collecting customers, biometric identifiers, and biometric information with its face scanning apps at many of its locations and their kiosks. Now, also, that reminds me of the lawsuits that were pending for Walmart as well when it came to their um, self-checkouts, okay? They were accusing people of not checking out when they actually did, even if they had the receipt, they were not pulling the receipt. Um, and sometimes they would let the people go. Other times they called the police. And the times that they did let the people go, 10 days later, they had a knock at their door with a warrant for their arrest. And yes, they went to jail. And so there was a lawsuit pending and that lady won millions of dollars from Walmart because of this. And all they had to do was pull the cameras. But they don't pull the cameras, you guys, because what they're doing is double dipping. So even though the judge threw out the case because no one representing Walmart showed up to the court, they threw the lady's case out. She then turned around and sued them. But months later, they started sending her letters, Walmart did, saying, we need you to just settle this and go ahead and pay this or face jail time. Well, she's already done a day in jail, maybe two. She don't want to go back to jail, but thankfully she had an attorney. Many people do not, and they fear, you know, going to jail. So they just pay it and they move on. Meanwhile, Walmart has racked up millions of dollars doing this. Be careful in the self-checkout. Make sure you're scanning your items or go to someone and let them check you out. Make sure you keep your receipts. As far as this biometric situation, they have this going on in many stores. So you can either shop at that store or not shop at that store. I can't tell you where to go shop. I'm just here to let you know what's going on out here in the news that hopefully you can use. So hit that like button, share the video out, leave comments, and let me know what you think. 
And I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember that I love you, but God truly loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you are, please go out and spread God's love. Why? Because God is love and that's what he will want you to do. Now I'm about to take my doll, Gracie. Gracie, 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 sit. I'm about to take her out the door before she be done. Pee in my house. Y'all have a blessed day. See you in the next one.